Shout out Tequila Vlog. I am none other than your favorite girl, Tequila. And this week we're going to talk about, well, I wouldn't want to say dating in particular, but Lori Harvey's dating spectacle that just had everybody talking and saying a lot of stuff about her. Okay, so for those who don't know, Lori Harvey, I'm talking about Harvey. <laughs> Lori is Steve Harvey's uh, stepdaughter, and y'all also know she dated my man, Michael B. Jordan. Anyway, but did y'all see him on Saturday Night Live? He did really good. It was it was real funny. I liked it. But anyway, so yeah, so she dated him, and now she's dating Dan Sum, uh from Snowfall, which comes on on 22nd of this month. Like, y'all, I cannot wait. It's lit. Okay, I still got to go back and watch probably the last two episodes to remember what happened. But, yeah. So, now she's currently dating him. So, of course, when she popped on the scene with him, everybody, I'm not even going to say everybody. I'm going to say it was the majority of men. Men had a lot to say about her dating style or how she dates and all of this stuff. So, you know, I seen a couple of posts and I was... um reading the comments and stuff and like a lot of men was calling her a hoe saying she was the problem no man to take her serious she don't give her time she don't give herself time to um heal like the list goes on and on and on so i'm just like wow are they serious like and i want to know like do y'all know the meaning of dating like, I don't think a lot of y'all know what dating is or what dating means. But, if you haven't checked out my podcast about Date Them All, the link is in the description. So, yeah, check that out. But, yes, um, I don't see nothing wrong with what she's doing. Date Them All, sis, like you've been doing. Because that's what I do. If you're not in a committed relationship or if you're not dating exclusively, Date Them All why yeah check out the link to to get my take on dating them out okay so now what i wanted to tell y'all is what y'all don't understand is number one she's a celebrity you know so everything that she does is going to be recorded taking a picture of and and reported back to tmz and other blog social media it's like she can walk down the street with a motherfucker Oh, she's been seen with so and so, so and so. So she's a celebrity. She can't do anything in private. Whereas Jennifer from down the hall can be dang 10 niggas and nobody gives a damn. No, nobody cares because she has that privacy that Lori doesn't have. So, like I said, if she, if Lori walks down the street, it's an issue. But if Jennifer be at the restaurant, the same restaurant that she took Joe. Tim and Jim too. Ain't nobody gonna say shit because, you know, who cares? She's Nobody knows Jennifer. You know what I'm saying? Unless she at the restaurant and somebody's sister, baby, did cousin see her and then they go tell somebody then that's the only reason why somebody would know. But other than that, nobody don't give a damn what Jennifer do. She ain't in the limelight. You know what I'm saying? She not. So, who gives a fuck? She can date fuck, suck whoever the fuck she want and nobody would care. Because who we going to tell? I mean, she, uh, whoever don't like her, her, her haters, ops, whatever y'all want to call it, they probably have an issue with it and, you know, start talking about her or some shit. But it's not going to be nationwide news. Just who gives a damn? Okay, now, yeah, I said she was a hoe. How? I want to I know how is she a hoe because she's dating? Like... How is it because she's seen you with multiple men? That makes no. I can't really say that because at the end of the day, she be in relationships. It just be her and that person. She in a relationship. So 
how is she a hoe? She's committed to one person at that time. Uh, and that's it. It ain't, she not P. Diddy. Well, you see him with Carisha one minute, see him with the next Instagram model, the next minute, a Facebook model over here. He, that's a hoe. <laughs> P. Diddy is a hoe. But Lori is not because at the end of the day, when you see her pop out with these men, she are in relationships with them. It's just them and her. You don't ever see her with this person and that person at the same time. It's always one person at a time. So I don't understand like how that makes her whole when she's committed to a person. Yeah, so... Can somebody, um, if y'all listening to this, well, I know y'all listening, but, um, if y'all don't mind, can y'all comment what a hoe is so I can know? All right. Now, y'all said she's the problem. How? That, how is, I want to know how she the problem. How can somebody be considered the problem when she's left all the relationships? I haven't seen where they said she got dumped. I've always seen her leave the relationship. For whatever reason. Okay, for instance, uh, with the Michael B. Jordan. He wanted to marry her. She wasn't ready. She left. But, and she showed it. Like, why would she sit? If she don't want to be married, why would she continue to date somebody that's looking for marriage or that wants to be married? Why? That makes no sense. I'm going to get the fuck up out of there too. She bro. Slow down, baby. Pump your brakes. I ain't done yet. I'm, I'm getting there. Hopefully, but not right now. I ain't ready. Calm down. Give me a minute, you know? So, and then I was reading that she had said in a, a interview, she was like, she's not going to lower her standards to make the other person happy. And that's true. You know, when you're dating, you know what you want. And the other person know what they want. So, why lower that just because you want to see them happy or you like the idea of being in a relationship when you're not getting what you actually want out of the relationship think about it why, why waste your time i know ain't nobody perfect i know that ain't nobody perfect and you know we do tend to give people second chances and i got a podcast on there too i'm gonna put that link in the description too on giving people second chances now like i was saying you know, if you believe in giving second chances, do that. You feel me? Do what is ever is pleasing to you. Now, you done sat up here and been with Joe as for three years. And you've been complaining about the same shit. Joe steady talking about, okay, I'm going to fix it. I'm going to fix it. Here it is, year seven, and Joe still doing the same shit. When are you going to... When, you, when are you ever going to leave? It, it's year seven. He been doing the same shit since year three. So you wasted four years of your life waiting for a motherfucker to get some shit done. And he still ain't got it done. And you still where you was year three. It's no growth. It's no shit. We need to normalize not settling. Don't do it. If it ain't working, get up out of there. It's simple as that. If it ain't working, get up out of there. Like, I, I, don't, I don't know what else to say because, I mean... We all have wasted time. Don't get me wrong. We all have stayed in a situation that we was not supposed to stay in for longer than what we were supposed to stay in it for. We have all done it. But, like, after how many... Like, when are you going to learn your lesson? I ain't going to lie, like... Probably took me out. Two times to learn my... The first... The very first time, it took longer. But the second time... Mm-mm, baby, y'all... I'm paying attention. Like, it only takes me one time to learn my lesson and I'm done with it because I don't want to keep going through the same cycle. Like, when I was a kid, if I got my ass whooped for something, I never got my ass whooped for the same thing twice. That's just one thing about me. Hey, hey, fuck that. Hey, if I see it's leading down the same road that I just came from, I'm going to end it. I'm not going to do that. What? Why would I put... Why? That don't make no sense. So normalize not settling. Get up out of there. Because I get, let me tell you one thing about a man. If anything is too hard for them, they going to go. If that, most men don't like challenges. Like if you're challenging them, they don't like that. So they're going to always do what's best for them at the end of the day. No matter what. Men are going to always do what's best for them. So women, let's get that mentality too. If it ain't working, do what's best for you. Because at the end of the day. Your ass to be the only one left in your own sorrows. 
crying and shit, eating ice cream on the couch, trying to get through it. Why this nigga gone doing whatever he want? Because why he did not allow himself to get that much invested into that shit. Once you give a motherfucker the first sign that, oh, uh, when a motherfucker get the, mm, all right, he's slowly detaching. He's slowly detaching while your ass steady attaching. So then when it comes to that point, when he done, fully done, and you fully attached, yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to always be that. All right, now, y'all said the lady is not healing. Exactly. What, what should she be healing from? Exactly. I mean, I'm, I'm just, what, the healing process? Did she have surgery? Or something? Like, uh, what else? Do people she have did she fall and scrape her knee or something and you know like you know you gotta go through the process where it can be a scab and then heal like I'm trying what what the what the what she healing from? She left the situation. If I left a situation, nine times out of ten, you push me to the point where I become emotionless. And when I get to the point of being sick and tired of being sick and tired, it's nothing for me to recover from because you did not already push me there. I, I'm over it now at this point. When I'm over it, I'm over it and that's it. I'm I'm out of here. I don't got well, I don't got the hell from shit. I don't need to get on bed rest. I don't need no medication. I don't need nothing. I'm good. Like I was never broken. If I left, if it wasn't working for me, I, I don't need the hell. What? What I don't I don't get that part. I don't I don't need to heal from nothing. I'm good. Like I'm okay. If I need to heal, I will. But I'm pretty sure if you leave a situation, it's no healing required. You got your mind made up. You already know the consequences of your decision and you know what's gonna come with it. Now y'all acting like but y'all don't even know like really if she healed or not. Like huh and Michael B. Jordan broke up. I ain't, I don't be on social media like that for real no more, but I don't remember like immediately after their breakup, I don't remember seeing her like go to the next person like within a month. I actually do remember she was saying like, she did some self-care. That's what she did. I guess so she, I guess she did heal. She did some self-care because she did say, I think I heard on the radio, after they break up, she did say she gained a lot of weight, which she did not like during their relationship. But I mean, ain't nothing wrong with a little happy weight or whatever, but I'm just saying. But she did say uh, she was trying to lose her weight and do all of that. So I guess that would be a part of her healing process because during their relationship time, she didn't like the fact that she gained weight. So I guess, I guess she could say she healed. But for me, <laughs> I ain't got to heal from shit. I'm about to, hey, time to hit the streets. Another one bites the dust. Come on, friend. We out here. And yeah, we can have fun. So, it is what it is. Like, what? If you don't fit my standards, why should I stay? Why? If you don't fit my standards, why should I stay? Like, it is, don't settle. Okay? Now, y'all said no man will take her serious. Okay. At the end of the day, like, Harley. That's Harley, y'all. Y'all want to meet Harley? Harley! Mommy is recording. Come here. Come here. She need a haircut, y'all. Come here. Come here. Come here, baby. Come here, my Harley. Come here. Girl, get your ass. Anyways, you gotta stop that barking. Okay? Come here. Come here, baby. She thinks she's gonna get in trouble, y'all. Let me tell you what she did. She, anyways, that's what different. Come here. All right, whatever. Okay, so then y'all said no man would take her serious, and I'm just like, how? Because I just feel like they wait on their turn. <laughs> that's how I feel. I feel like they wait on their turn. They wait for the next person to fuck up to show her like, hey, I'm better than them. So I think. They are taking her serious. It's just the fact that when she's getting in these, uh, I don't even want to say situations, when she's getting in these relationships, 
y'all not taking it serious y'all whatever she's asking for obviously they can't deliver so she's leaving and I don't blame her because like what we need to learn how to do is communicate. We need to say what are we look we need to say what we're looking for, what our expectations are and everything like that, etc. That's what we need to do. If you are a person that's only trying to casual date and you're not looking for anything serious, say that. Say that. And if you are dating with the intention to be in a relationship that leads to a marriage, family and all that say that too so when it's being communicated you'll know okay he he want to get married and stuff and have a family i ain't ready for that yet so when you ain't ready for that leave don't stay in a situation because you like a motherfucker like don't get me wrong like vibes are I ain't gonna even say they hard to come back because they really now you just gotta go outside you know you gotta put yourself in the right environment you know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to say vibes are that hard to come by, but I mean, it could be challenging, difficult, I guess. But communicate that because if I'm looking for, if I'm casually dating and he want to be serious, I wouldn't waste his time because he'll be doing everything to woo me into, you feel me, marrying him and I will be taking it for granted because that's not what I want. Versus if he had somebody else that was looking for the same thing, the, uh, dating to be in a relationship marriage and stuff if he had that they would go far because they have the same goals they want the same thing out of the relationship all together like y'all remember i don't know if y'all watch it or not but on uh krishan and uh blue face show when they went to therapy and he was asking them what do you want out of this relationship neither one of them could answer the question like y'all just with each other just to be with each other I mean, don't get me wrong. I know y'all business partners and all of that. But outside of that, like, what, what y'all really doing? Y'all just gonna keep fucking with it? <laughs> Wasting each other's time to, to win. So, communicate what you want. And then when you communicate what you want, and if this person say, okay, you know, I can do that. If you want to, you can allow them that opportunity if you want to and when given an opportunity you feel me i mean everybody know wrong wasn't built overnight but if you tell me you could deliver i'm gonna i won't necessarily say i'm putting you on a a timeline but time waits for no man you said you could do this i'm gonna see if you really can i'm gonna give you a little time limit to see you know what what you what you got going on but then after a certain time if i feel like we're not progressing and we're not getting anywhere. I'll bring it up and be like, you know, I'm feeling this way. I'm feeling that way. And that's what we need to learn how to do too. Communicate how the fuck we feel. If these motherfuckers, men and women, if these motherfuckers not living up to what the fuck they said they was going to do. If you in a relationship, you should be able to come to your partner and say, yeah, you remember you said this, but I don't feel like that is really happening. And say that. Don't don't ever let a motherfucker think what they doing is good if it's not really good. Stop pacifying. Okay, that's a different topic. But yeah, so back to no man taking her serious. But yeah, at the end of the day, they the one that's coming to her. They are approaching her. So obviously somebody is waiting for the chance to woo her and to see where it can go and see what she wants and deliver that and be the one for her. So they are, I think they are taking her pretty serious. It's just that what she wanted when she was 21, she don't want that at this age. And that goes for us too. When we dated, what I wanted at 23, I don't want that shit now. It was fun back then, but now I got a different uh, insight on shit. I done matured and a whole bunch of other shit. Like, that shit don't excite me. You got to come up with some more. So, I, the, the men I take her serious, I don't really get that part. But, hey, whatever. That's what... The men said, of course, no women said. All this shit that I'm talking about is what men were saying about her. Ain't no women said this. So, at the end of the day, move how you want to move. Who gives a fuck what anybody got to say? Like, once y'all get to that point where y'all don't give a fuck what nobody think or says about you, I swear to God, like, you will live, like, uh, you know, like, I don't know what commercial that is, but it's just, like, the heaven sent sound, like, you know, when the doors of the clouds open up, like, oh. Uh, yeah once you don't give a fuck life be easy because who cares like 
I'm finna start wearing vintage Air Force Ones. Because the other people do it, and you motherfuckers don't say nothing. So when y'all see me with my shit on, keep the same fucking energy. But no, for real. Move how you move. Move how it benefits you. It's your life. Nobody is living it but you. Uh, don't waste no time. Don't settle. And like I said, if somebody can't deliver, move around. We are normalizing not settling. That's what we're doing. We're not settling. We're not selling it. We're getting the most out of every situation. We're, you know, it's 2023, man. We, we, it, it, it got to be different this year. So, if you got to kiss full frogs before you find your prince, so be it. 